Hello and welcome. I'm Kayla and I'm autistic and right now I'm making videos related to my autism. In this video I'm going to be talking about very specific things that I have done that I believe were self-regulating behaviors. At the time I either didn't think anything of it or thought it was just because I was bored or thought it was some part of my OCD. This video is meant to be kind of light and fun and short and just kind of silly. Me kind of making fun of myself. I really wanted 10 things but I can only think of 8 things so I'm gonna accept it. Moving on, let's go. Let's get into it. One, when I was a kid I would sort and order my stuffed animals on a chair and take pictures of them. I would have these little photo shoots. I still have these pictures actually so <laughs> I may or may not share them in this video. We'll see. Sometimes I would put my cat in there just for you know to mix it up a little. It was just fun like I remember they had to be in a certain place and then like you know I'd take a picture of them and it would it would be this whole stuffed animal modeling thingy. Number two, I collected coins so that I could later sort and put them in those little packages to take to the bank. I remember my cousin having a coin sorter, so one of those automatic coin sorters where you just throw the coins in there and then they would sort it for you. I hated that idea. <laughs> I wanted to sort them myself. It was fun. I liked counting them and having my stacks of like quarters and dimes and like I liked the sorting of the coins themselves and putting them in the packages and having all these neat rolls of the same size coins. Like that was very pleasing and like relaxing to me. I remember taking my coins to one of those automatic sorters at the grocery store and then it would give you like a ticket to take to the cashier and they would give you your money. And I felt honestly cheated. That was not okay. And they took like a cut, you know, they sliced a little, skimmed a little bit off the top for themselves and when I could have just done it myself and had a lot more fun doing it. Number three, I was obsessed with BBs, like the little BBs that come out of BB guns. When I was in elementary school, probably more in the kindergarten, first grade, second grade time, I thought they were like these little magical fairy troll ball thingies there were like col colorful ones, there were like transparent ones and like little glow in the dark ones, you know, those are like those are like the real treats. <laughs> and they were like everywhere all over the playground. And I made a game of for myself to find these BBs throughout the playground and I collected I got like a pretty good amount actually. I had like a whole jar full and it was like really really fun for me to like scavenger hunt these tiny little BBs throughout the playground. It was an obsession for a little bit. All I thought about was finding those damn BBs, like all the time. Number four, rearranging my books. Well, reading is a special interest. You have to have books to read, you know, and I did try like the Kindle thingy and I know it's more sustainable and like bleh, but like I just love books. I love the feeling of the books. I love smelling the books the pages, like it's a whole sensory experience for me to actually have like a physical book in my hands. I know, I don't see it changing, sorry. I've collected quite a few books over my life and I like to every now and again rearrange them in a different way. So I've done alphabetical by title, alphabetical by last name, alphabetical by first name. I've done by category. So yes, I have enough books that I could have categories with like enough like self-help, psychology, astronomy, physics, chemistry, category. Recently, like literally yesterday, <laughs> I just color coded my books and rearranged them by color. Sort of by size too, but it didn't really work out as much because of the color thing. So yeah, so right now my books are organized by color and I'm super digging it. Number five, I also organize my clothes. Lately, I've just kind of stuck to color coding. It lets me know what I have more and I like to like see everything and I kind of forget about things if I don't physically see them all the time. And it makes it easier for me to like pick out outfits and stuff. Color coding 
my closet. Super fun. Number six, at my old job as a scribe, I like made this really elaborate sculpture out of paper clips. Yeah, it was ridiculous, like super elaborate. And I thought it was just because I was bored, which I, I might have been, but it's not because I didn't have work to do. Like I needed to do work, but I also needed to braid these paper clips at the same time. <laughs> Number seven, when I was in anatomy class, while the teacher was lecturing, I just, you know, got into the bones and started articulating the spine just because, you know, and it was fun. I didn't even realize like other students were watching me and the teacher was actually watching me. He said he stopped and was just like looking at me and I'm just like off in my own little world articulating bones, not even noticing that the teacher noticed. And after the lecture, he was just like, how's it going, Kayla? <laughs> so that was a little embarrassing. And lastly, number eight, I got these kind of old school wooden blocks for my baby girl to play with. And they're like, different shapes, different colors, and like very, very like old school type wooden blocks. I had to get them on Etsy because apparently you can't find these anymore. I kind of took them out for her for the first time and I'm sitting there like trying to play with her and I realize I'm just sitting there playing with myself. I had separated them by color and I was separating them by shape unconsciously. <laughs> it was so funny. like. Even as an adult, I'm 31, I get out these like blocks that I'm supposed to play with my eight month old. And I'm like totally autisticing these fucking blocks and like, yeah, so that was funny. <laughs> but I owned it, did start including her. I was playing with her, but also playing with the blocks and admitting that it was really fun to sort and organize these blocks made for children. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Love yourself, be kind to yourself, and catch you on the flip side.